What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We're gonna do a couple more episodes of Killers and Thieves. You guys really seem to like the game and so I figured I'd give you a little bit more of a brief so you could figure out uh, whether or not it's a game that you wanted to purchase for yourself. It's been about a week since I played the game last so obviously I'm thinking the best thing we could do is go to the map room and try to figure out what's going on here. Now we're in the Brian Gates. Uh, they were planning on having us move on out. So we've got the Resolute Toll over here. Do I have this set up with its inventory? Is this all good to go? I know I've got goods and stuff like that laying around, so it's probably a good idea to keep these all just kind of getting taken care of so that we have cash flow coming in. This area has turned into a hellhole of guards being everywhere. The guild about to take the next step forward. Graypool wants to talk to Key, or Key and Candle want to talk. Okay, so we got to put Candle on this one. There we go. Accept it. Candle will go down there, and hopefully it's not actually a mission. We assassinated a couple guys in the previous episode. Sometimes somebody got to get stuck. It is what it is. Every now and again, you just gotta shiv a bitch. So, you do all your important talks on rooftops? Key watches lights around the bridge flicker in the distance. Teal's men are busy. I'd like to see the results of my actions. Well, we just burned that bridge, so to speak, so, uh, what now? Well, once we got a ship and we have a foothold in loading, we can come and go as we please. Why the slums of all places? You miss getting a knife in the back? Pace yourself. On the contrary, things are about to move quick. It's time to sprint. I know the Foxhearts, and I know the Merchant Lords of Greypool. They're jealous, bitter, and selfish, but they need each other. It's a house of cards. If you try to step in and replace one, the whole thing's gonna topple. Fencer runs the Foxhearts, Pollock Black the Breakers, and Francis Fisher, he owns them all. Remember those names. We're about to try and kill, thing or kill kings and devils. And? My point is, we're probably gonna die. So what I need to know right now is why you want this. Convince me or I'm out like Fencer wanted in the first place. Candle leans back, watching the fog roll across the city. Have you met Odo? Old man who runs the patron, usually down in the basement reading. My parents were killed in Greypool. Odo found and raised me, and he never told me why. Doesn't really talk much. Somebody cut out his tongue. I was an angry child, plotting my payback, and as I got older, everywhere I looked just pointed to someone else. And eventually I realized there wasn't some bad guy in a dark alley. It was Greypool. Just living here turns innocents into villains, and I can't let it keep happening. So how do you get revenge on a city? Key stands quietly. Well, you start by crossing the sea, gather the others, uh, we're going to Scardway. Okay, so we're going to Scardway. Apparently, I mean, we could still do, like, brigandry and banditry around here. It's not entirely outside the norm of what we could do. I mean, all the guards are mostly relegated to the southern end. We could heist up here without too many problems. I don't think we would have any issues. But the truth of the matter is, there ain't no money in this neighborhood, so why would I bother? I mean, there's there's no cash here. I'm stealing from people that have nothing, so we might as well go back up to the world map and go to the Scardway and see what's up. Uh, we can do a little bit of looking around, seeing if there's anything. Oh, there's little animations in here. You can see little people walking around and stuff. I don't know if that happened on the previous map, but that's cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stake somebody out right here. We're going to send Arbalest, because I don't use him for shit anyways. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send out Flick. To this side. We're going to give it a day or two. I'm looking for stores. Basically, I'm looking for people I can knock over to sell my goods. So that I have like a clothing store. I have a goods store. I have all these things that I need in order to move forward. So let's go ahead and advance time. We'll see what the cash is looking like in just a moment. Hide my thieves. Cash is looking a little bit weak over on this side. Although some of these areas do look nicer than others. Uh, we do have access to what looks like a bar right there. So that's okay. We've got some gold coins on this side. That is precise. Ooh, a jewelry store. Ooh, does that mean there's like a good treasure over there? Like, what does that mean? Call these guys back. Go ahead and abandon these. We know where the stuff is now. Uh, I will call you back and call you back. And next, we'll give them a day to come back. I'm going to run a heist right here. I do wish you could mark the map. Like, there was a little marker tool so that you could mark the map with the things that you had. Uh, we're going to send people in. I need four guys. So I'm going to take Key. I'm going to take Flick. I'm going to take Candle. I'm going to take Botch. Uh, all the standard criminals. Although he can prowl. Makes him kind of tempting. But everybody else has better stats. I've been pumping more money into the other people. So you know what? Let's just get this thing moving. I want to see what we got in front of us right now. Uh, coming up out of here, I'm going to send Key first. Key, get on up to the surface. Uh, aside from that, I'm going to look around for guards. So we're on the left-hand side of town right now. Guards are pretty deep, actually. There's not a lot of guards around here. So let's call everybody up. Oh, there's a guard inside the building already. Let's get everybody in here. I'm going to wait and see what that guard does, but I'm interested in finding this treasure. 
Uh, the other one was roundabout. I kind of know where the other one was. That guard's back up on the roof, so let's send in key. I guarantee this is... Oh, it's not locked. Okay, so if that's not locked, then we'll peek through that hole right there. I'm going to peek through this hole right here. This is, however, locked. So I've actually got Flick at the moment. Flick, grab that treasure then. Flick took a... Flick, you know, Flick did a little time for the rest of us. And so I'm more than likely... You know, I'm okay with Flick. There's a vintage salt wine right there. Very nice. Uh, you get that door for me, Flick. You just keep on hiding. Keep hiding and riding and doing your thing. Uh, Flick, go upstairs. We know the guard's on the roof, so we don't have to worry about that. Flick, that's all you, buddy. Grab that thing and get out of there. Key, go check on that real fast in case it's locked. Uh, we got leather gloves. That is actually open. So we'll go ahead and get four gold out of there. Uh, flick. Key, get over here and unlock this. There we go. Flick, step back. There's no reason for you to be up here right now. We know that the guard is up on the roof, and that's going to take a pretty careful run. Uh, do hide. Go ahead and lay low. You gotta do what you gotta do, but there was nothing actively up in here, so we'll just wait till he goes back up to the top floor. Flick is also hiding. Flick, get downstairs. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think he's coming down. Alright, so that's cool. We just gotta get Key out of this place now. That is our only objective. If we can extract Key from the location, that's cool. I'm gonna take us over to this side. And so, uh, oh, he's actually out of the building. Alright, get out. Don't go to the top of the stairwell. Go ahead and stand there and hide for a minute. And then two, three, and four. I'll go over to the next building, and we'll start looking around in there for anything that we can steal. Anything that we can get our hands on. Sounds like something that I want. Four gold is not going to pay a lot of bills. It's not going to take care of that deficit we have running right now. We are definitely burning through cash. We've managed to make a little bit of money, and I don't want to bleed too hard. I love that this game has no time limits, and you can basically play it at your own pace. That's one of the things I like best about it. Key, just go downstairs. You'll probably lose. Oh, he didn't lose any of his anonymity, so I suppose as long as you're good, please don't go. Ah, oh, you dumb bastard. How could you? All right, well, let me get people arrayed out here, and we'll decide who we want to take up. I don't want to kill anybody. If I kill anybody or we have any arrests, that's going to raise our heat to an extent that I just don't feel like dealing with. And so looking up and down the rest of the street, it didn't look like there was any treasure left in the previous building. This one right here, though, i got to wait till the guard goes away. There it is. We're in. I'm going to send in Candle. Candle's capable of carrying a lot of stuff. So that's locked. That's locked. Uh, bring Key up here. He'll take care of that. Key, get that thing open for me. Candle, keep running point. Oh, there are civvies up here. All right, fall back. Uh, let's get Candle to loot that. Key, come over. Oh, no. Everybody out. Yep. I had a feeling. I had a sneaking suspicion. There we go. He's on his way out. I'm going to send up. Oh, he doubled back. Okay. I'm going to send him up. We'll go ahead. And I think this floor is one of those floors you would need Prowl for. So we got table beers over there. Uh, take Candle up. She's got more carrying space. And she's able to fight if she gets caught, which I think is very important. Uh, you lose all your loot if you get arrested. So, getting arrested is generally something you'd kind of like to avoid. Got that right there. Good. A vintage table beer. Run him up there because it looks like there's still a chest that I failed to get open. Candle, go upstairs. And then key, once you're done right here, go downstairs. Candle, what's inside of there? Is anything good? Come on, Candle. Get that good shit. Solid gold-plated revolver. A brass vase. That actually works pretty well. Do I have anybody with the prowling ability? He's got Vigilance, we've got Climb, we've got Critical Strike. Our problem for right now is this floor. It doesn't look like there's any tre- actually there is. I think there's a treasure on that shelf right there. Let's take in somebody who has a high anonymity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush that door. And we're going to close that thing and get them upstairs. Anything in here. Nay, sir. Oh, there's another stairwell that goes down to a little hidden room over here. Then I guess there is nothing inside of here. All right, everybody out. Uh, we're going to take everybody back to the origin point. We're going to hit the next building. Yeah, he's going to lose some anonymity right there, but I ain't worried about it. He's got such a ridiculous docket of anonymity. He's a great scout is really what it comes down to because he's got so much anonymity. And he fits in every time, man. Every time I go to a building. Every time. Okay, so he's out. 
Send him upstairs and let's have a little look here. First door is locked, so we're going to need key for that. And there's nothing I can really do about that. We do have a guard coming, though. So botch get out. And when Key gets done with that, you get out just in case he decides to double up and go inside. He did not decide to go inside, but I'm not brave enough to send somebody in just yet. I could send Key. Definitely possible. And then I could just close that door behind me. Oh shit, there's a guard right there. Good lord, I didn't know there was two guards in there. Alright, botch, you go up. Oh, we got guardsmen like goddamn everywhere though. Close that door. Lockpick that for me. We may need to get out of here. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of trouble there. Not exactly what I'm looking for. What I'll do is I'll have Botch eavesdrop over here. Uh, he's not hidden. Hold on. It doesn't hide you automatically sometimes, which can be a bit of a frustration. There are a lot of guards inside this building. I'm thinking, oh, that's because there's a blue chest in there. Okay, if we can work our way to that blue chest, we've definitely got ourselves options. Uh, Candle may have to do some of her work, though. So there's a guard right there. If he decides to come down, I'm going to loop back around him. I guarantee that's going to be locked. I see no chance that that's not going to be. Actually, he goes, oh, no. Hmm? Oh, no. Huh? Oh, shit, son. Candle, get out of there. Candle, get out of there. Oh, that's key, dude. We can't do anything with key now. Oh, shit, dude. We're in trouble. That's just, There's so many guards in here, though. Like, why are there so many guards? I don't know. Probably because there's something diggity dank in here. There's got to be. Grab a common wine. Close that door because he's probably going to come upstairs. No. Okay. We got no guard up here. Oh, it's open. It's open. Let's grab it. I've never gotten a blue chest before. Actually, I think we did in the previous. 11 gold. Okay, so something a little bit better in there. Nothing, like, amazingly awesome, though. Uh, was there anything else around here? If that dude doesn't come back, I'm just going to loot this real quick. I got to get whatever loot I can out of here. Steel pick. Hmm. Okay, you hide. He will more than likely piss off in a little bit. Go upstairs. Hmm? Oh, we may have troubles. Except that that guy went outside at just the right moment. Okay. What? Uh -huh. We've basically picked this place clean. Let's go ahead and bounce on out. Candle, I'm sorry, we lost key, which is unfortunate. Oh, what's up with that big chest right there? That looks tempting. Hmm. Do I have anybody with a lot of anonymity left? I don't know how I'm going to steal that, though. Like, so far, I haven't found a way to deal with peasants who just walk around and don't do anything. As I've been playing the game, I've noticed that actually peasants are a bigger deal than the guards, because the guards will actually leave. Peasants will just walk back and forth in a room over and over and over again. And I haven't figured out a way to get around them aside from killing them. And killing them brings down a lot of heat on your head, like a huh? ton of heat. I think one of our guys has busted anonymity, and that's going to be pulling guards in towards us. Let's go ahead and, although that we can use that to our advantage, too. Uh, that's locked, so we can't get in. Uh, that's open, though. Let's see what we get out of here. There's something satisfying about, like, kind of the loot and scoot mechanic of this game. A ceremonial clock. Okay. And that looks like it's going to be the rest of the neighborhood. I just want this guy to go away. Like, I don't want to call down a bunch of heat on myself, but that's a dope chest right there. and It's got to have something good in it. It's made out of gold. How could it not? You know? There are a lot of what? guards around, though, and they'll get a flanking bonus when they fight her. Because these guys call for help if you stab them. So there's no, like, assassination mechanic where you can take them out quietly, which is definitely what I would do. I would kill them quietly if I could. I suppose this is one of those situations where Prowl comes into play. Oh, decisions, decisions.
Is it locked? It's not locked. Okay. It's risky, but there's no guards on the right-hand side. If I can get somebody with decent skill to get in there fast, like Candle, who can also defend themselves, I might be able to get that. So what I would do is I'm going to put them right by the sewer grates already, because these are all locked up and we can't go anywhere without key anyways. I do need to get another lockpicking, guys, so that I can fall back on that, so that if our lockpicker gets busted, we're not totally hosed. And if all the guards go left, this is our opportunity. So if they all go left... A pulsing eye. Okay. Uh, get down into the sewers. I'm sure that's going to hurt our bounty a little bit. But the guards don't seem any more interested. So, hey, I'm going to call that a successful heist. I think that went well. We got the gold treasure. We got a blue treasure. I mean, everything went pretty solidly. Uh, 90 XP on there. Killing and looting brings more guards to a district up to five shields. So, yeah, we just messed up that district. The pulsing eyes were 35. The leather gloves. Okay. So, yeah, we definitely got some loot. Heist went well. Now uh, we're going to end up with more guards tomorrow, though. Uh, one ten strength, two ten strength, four thieves, scout the scarred way, establish a house, do some bribes. Okay. That'll work out. I'll have other people scout while we do it, too. Uh, what is this? A merchant's business shakedown will convince the owner to sell things. Yeah, send, do a shakedown over here. Go ahead, send him. If we can shake that down and get ourselves another store. What is that? Oh, he's shaking him down right now. Okay. Oof. So many guards. So what is this place? What do they sell? Oh, it's a goods store. Okay. Oh, uh, we've got a reagent for maybe a magical thing? I don't really know. Um, how many slots does he have? Five? That's pretty good. So I would just put all of our goods in there and we'll collect our cash a little bit later. I see no reason not to. Uh, we got about 50 gold from our other stores. So that's good. Uh, the next thing that I would do is maybe... Oh, good. The heat only went up to four shields. I thought it was going to go up to five. We'll go back to our headquarters, and we got to restock our pub as well with all of our little things that we got laying around. Uh, because our storefront, we actually do have liquor now, which means that uh, if we can sell that, we'll make a little bit of cash. Uh, we can only stock three items right there, so I'll take that out. Poor vintage, a lacking vintage salt wine. Okay, I can live with it, though. It'll get a markup. And then finally, a poor table vintage. So this common beer right here, I'll just break it for one gold because that's what it's worth anyways. That'll bring us in another 22 to 37-ish. It's all right. We're making money. Like, we're staying basically in the black right now. It's just a little bit tougher. Uh, we will then go back to the scarred way, and we'll try to get this storyline mission out of the way. I think the other treasure we were looking at was round about here somewhere, which coincidentally is not where the guards are. We have our safe house. We can carouse. How is morale right now? If I look at... I mean, we could do training at the moment. And I don't think it would cost us too badly. Uh, we got five points, six points. I could definitely give somebody some extra skills while we wait for the guards to piss off. I think that's another option that we haven't really fully considered either. And I think this game is more about time management than anything else. So with training, with five points, he's already skilled up. Stealth training would be great for him. Major ability training... I don't think matters. I mean, being able to scale outside of buildings would be cool. Knife fighting would be even better for him because he's got so many... He's got such good skills that I think that would give him from now on I could just dump everything into strength so that if he gets caught, he can actually fight his way out if he really needs to. So I'm going to take... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take knife fighting. That's going to take three days. I think that's a good call. With Flick, his training went through. He's got a little bit more skill, a little bit more strength. Not a lot of stealth. Uh, Flick... I've been using him sort of as a... I don't really know what I've been using him as, in all honesty. He's just kind of... He carries things for me, I guess. Like, that's the only way that I really know. So, comparatively, like, what does a 43 morale mean versus, like... One thing that I don't really have is a comparative scale. So, is it on, like, a scale of 1 to 100, it looks like? Because a 45 morale... Eh, it's a little rough. A little rough. Uh, I'll probably take him in for a little bit more stealth training. Stealth training sounds pretty good to me. Aside from that, there's no, like, three-level things that I... I guess prowling would be good for him because I always use him as my looter. And so if I could keep him moving while stealth, I think that's a good thing. Botch has 41, 47, and 48. He could really go in any direction right now. I'm going to give him lockpicking. 
and that still leaves him with a point to train skill. Uh, for her, I'm going to keep using her exactly as the game intended. She's going to be a warrior all around. Give her some strength training. And so we got three days until that's done. Let's go ahead and bypass those. So there it is. We'll take a look at our training and we'll see how this went over here. See if it was good. Uh, Key got plus one due to all the stuff. He's got knife fighting now. So if he gets caught like he did in the last mission, he can actually fight his way out. His high skill cap is going to make it very useful for him because it says here that hitting and dodging is determined by skill, whereas damage is determined by strength. And so from now on, what we want to do is just dump all of his points into strength so that he's getting stronger. Uh, he also got prowling, which is good. Uh, he took, I think, lock picking, which is great. It's a supplementary skill that I think is going to serve him pretty well. I could give him skill training right there. What is... Yeah, make your skill a little bit better so you can lock pick faster. With Candle, she got nine strength. Good lord. Give her another strength training. I just want her to be up at like 90 or 100 so that she just like one shots everything. Is really what I'm trying to work with for her so that if I have to stonewall and just not do anything, uh, we've sold quite a few goods about 30 bucks worth there need, is there a menu where i can look at all of my stores and sell all things from one location it seems to me they haven't sold anything there even though everything matches up so that's fine um we haven't let's go back we'll go back to the world map and we've got to go to the brine gates In the brine gates we've got this place which is a goods vendor I do have more goods, so I will put the ceremonial clock. <gasps> that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. That was my bad. Shit. I tried to leave the game and roll it back, but it auto-saved. I sold it for 35 gold. We could have got like 50 out of that. That was my bad. I clicked the wrong thing. A uh, little pop-up right there that says, are you sure you want to do this would be fantastic. Um, considering you are breaking items, that would be my next recommendation. Dude, this place sells liquor quick. We almost have no goods, though. Like, we may need to go out on more heists just to make some money. Can I still mess around in the brine gates? Am I allowed to do that? Oh, I am. So I can still fiddle around over here, too. It'd be cool if you could detract guards from another zone by heisting in another zone. You know what I mean? That'd be super sweet. I will probably heist over here, then. There's only one guard. These guards look like they moved around a little bit, and so they're spaced out a little bit better. I'd also like to see, like I said before, the rings that actually let you know how far away the guards have to be before they add on to your heist. That's something that just, like, I'm not sure about. Uh, they're in training for three days. We can still take in a couple of the new guys. I don't see a re I mean, we've still got key. Key is, like, the main piece of everything, and so... If we've got key, we're more or less good. Are you guys both prowling right now? Please stop prowling. Is there a way to turn that off? Okay, I can press H to take them out of it. I was gonna say, apparently they start out prowled. And so they can just actively move while hidden. All right. So uh, you're my guy. Go ahead and take a look around. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy in this first room. Let's go ahead and get it robbed and we'll grab what we can. There we go. A linen purse. Uh, that's locked. So I'm going to need key to come up here and take care of that. You look through the keyhole. And if there's nothing else going on. Arbalest, get back here. Unless key's going to do it. He's got a vintage sugar wine. I don't see any guards around. Uh, get that open. Arbalest, just in case there's anything hidden back in here. Please stop hiding. I really need you to stop hiding by default. And then uh, you look through here. He got two gold. Okay, I can live with that. Ain't shit up in there. Ain't nothing in there either. Okay. Uh, I think this building's more or less cleared, and we'll continue this heist in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle uh, for another episode of Killers and Thieves. Please be very vocal if you wanted to see more of this series. I think the game is very cool. I don't understand a lot of the negative reviews. Most of them seem to be UI and ease of living related. Uh, I would agree that this game could definitely use a lot of ease of living changes uh, just to make the game a little bit more tolerable in a lot of ways. But uh, I don't know. What can you do about something like that? So with this building, it looks like we've got a lot of civilians milling about. Ah, well, worry about that next time. Bye, everybody. Take care.